Marhaba, and welcome to the Matrix Green Pill, where real people connect. Hello and welcome back to the Matrix Green Pill podcast. I'm Hilmarie Hutchison, and today I am joined for the very first time by a new co-host, Vittoria Musio. Welcome, Vittoria. I am so happy to have you join me on the podcast today. Hello, Kilmarie. I'm so happy to be here with you. Today, we are so excited to introduce Melissa Gilroy. She's the first woman in sale for Mercedes-Benz Special Trucks and recently one of the first women to get a heavy-duty truck driving license here in the UAE. Hello, Melissa. Welcome and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, ladies. Thank you so much for having me in your podcast. It's really exciting to be part of this podcast. So our listener would love to get you know a bit better. Can you please share with us your backstory and how you ended up here in the UAE? My father had his own business, advertising and trading business before he even got married. So practically, I am raised in Dubai all my life. I did my high school and my graduation over here in Dubai itself. But I went abroad to UK to complete my master's. Practically throughout my life, I'm a more Dubaian person, UAE national, I feel, than being any part of the world. So you're a Dubai baby. Yes. Were you born and raised or just raised? Just raised. I was born back in India, in Kerala, but we were shuttling constantly back and forth because my dad was here. Me, my sister, my mom were back in India. For five years, we were there and then we all moved back together over here. So my high school, everything, since fourth grade, I've been studying here, actually. Being in the heavy truck business is not usually a career associated with women. Can you tell us how you got into this field? Honestly, pure accident. How it happened is that I just had completed my master's in UK and I was coming down to Dubai and I was looking for internships. So I had joined another truck manufacturing company on a temp basis in marketing. Then I worked in that company for four years as a marketing executive before I joined my current company, Daimler Trucks, around four years back was not at all a conscious decision. I was just following the opportunities that I came across in my life. And now you won't even believe it. I love the industry. I love my trucks. That's how it became. So you went from marketing and sales and then into actually driving the trucks, right? Correct. So let me say this first. Congratulations on being one of the first women to get a heavy truck driving license in the UAE. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that all happened for you? For me, it happened because it started with my job profile. When you come into sales, it's natural. Our company was telling all the sales people that, you know, you must have a truck driving license. So, you know, you know and feel the vehicle because if you need to sell it to your customer, you need to feel your product. So it's an opportunity that just came forward. It means it was something that I was asking for also. I was looking forward it. And when the opportunity came, I was like, let's do this. So me and my other colleague, Mandy Chang, she's from marketing. So we both were the first ones to get the opportunity to go for the truck driving license from our team, actually. And then, like you say, rest is history in the main. So can I ask, how long does it take to get a heavy-duty truck driving license? For both of us, it took around a little bit more than three months to finish the entire training, testing all the tests because it is not easy. It is quite intense. They do extremely intensive training because it's a truck, yeah? It's different um, test schedules given for you. So you have the parking, you have the yard test, you have the internal test. So it's a long process of tests and learning and driving. And since it was my first time driving even manual, it took even more longer to complete it. But yeah, overall, it was worth it because, you know, you have to be safe in the end of the day when you're driving on the road. And so I appreciate the intensive training and teaching methods the driving schools had here in UAE for the truck driving license. Wow, that's actually very, very exciting. What are some of the challenges that you have faced in your career? To be very honest, I believe on the lucky side, honestly, you know, I haven't faced much challenges because I'm sort of a person who's more interested. I mean, I look at everything as Whatever positions I've been in, I keep an open mind to learn and develop myself and take whatever experience I have to grow and develop into the next stages of my life. To be very honest, you know, you as any job profile have, you have that period of learning, understanding the business and all that stuff. Apart from that, I had a great team. I had great managers throughout my life 
great mentors. So in all honesty, I cannot really complain about the path of my career that has been so far. That's excellent. But I also think your mindset makes a big difference, right? So if you are willing to learn and understand that you're going to be facing challenges and viewing them as opportunities, then you'll grow from from that rather than being held back or viewing them as obstacles you can't get over. Very true. So let's view this or let me ask it a different way then. Can you tell us maybe about one mistake that you have made and what you've learned from the experience? I have made many mistakes. I'm not going to lie about it. Yeah. I have made numerous mistakes like any normal human being, but nothing that would be, you know, major, you know, I made mistakes. But one of the biggest things that I've taken in all these years, learned from all these years is patience. This is one thing that I think it's one of the big quality that each one of us need is no matter what your goal is, have the patience. It will come to you. Just keep working in that direction and have the patience. Give it time. It will come. Don't frustrate yourself. Don't break your head over it. Enjoy the process of reaching that goal and have the patience. One day or the other, it will come. And for me, in my case, it has always been true. So I would say be calm and be patient. I think that's very good advice. Thank you. So looking back in time, what is one thing you wish you knew when you started your career? One thing I wish that I knew in the starting of career is to how to market yourself and speak for yourself because there's nobody who's going to do that on your behalf. You might have people supporting you, supporting your qualities, supporting your growth. But individually, we have to be the first person that I wish that I learned from the very beginning that I need to ask if I need growth, if I need develop, if I need something, it should come from me first. So, and nobody else is going to do that. So I think that would be my advice. Speak for yourself, stand up for yourself and learn to market yourself. Oh, I think that is excellent advice for anybody starting out to speak up for themselves. Very good. Can you tell us one of your proudest moments during your journey until now? I have many, many proud moments, actually. I can maybe being the first woman in sales for Mercedes with special trucks in the region is definitely a proud moment for me. I think selling my first trucks was a proud moment for me. And then quite recently, this truck driving license have been a proud moment for me. So these are the quite recent proud moments I've had. So, and I'm looking forward to creating many, many more proud moments in my life. I mean, that's excellent. That's very exciting. So after more than 10 years in the business, I guess we can call you a veteran in the commercial vehicles industry. How do you think this industry has changed during the last 10 years? Actually, I'm still a newborn baby, I feel, in this industry because there are many, many, many. I mean, I have so many things to learn still. You know, the truck as a machine, this piece of steel equipment, it's fascinating thing. So I feel I still have a lot to learn. I still call myself a newbie in this industry. But what is exciting is that usually in a truck industry, to make a changes in the truck, in its make or in the college, in the options and, you know, features in a truck, it's It's not like the passenger car industry where every other month you have some changes coming in. Truck industries takes about 15 to 20 years when a new model comes in or new features comes in. Recently, what I've seen is that the way the industry, automotive industry has been moving. It's exciting to see that these same changes are also featuring in the truck commercial side industry uh, with uh, how the safety features are for the truck drivers, for the road users, you know, more and more and all the fuel consumption, the emission norms, protecting the environment. So this truck industry is also moving quite quickly into that direction than what it used to be previously. So I'm myself is quite excited to see how the truck itself, which was just a diesel engine truck moving from point A to point B, carrying goods, how that is going to change and is changing, actually. Taking care of the people, safety, road, environment. And it's a quite interesting phase to be in, actually. Just to sort of stay along similar lines, you sort of have mentioned the future, but how do you see the future for this industry? It's going to be a very exciting future with with the industry, with all the different kind of fuel battery 
cells and uh, that is coming up and the hydrogen fuel cells that's coming up in the truck industry for creating a more environmental safe options for our environment. I mean, these are all pretty good parts that are coming up. Really, I'm really excited because you have, uh, there are many, many options that you won't even realize that are there in the trucks right now for the driver's comfort. There is something called as how the truck automatically breaks the automated systems in the truck. It's not anymore just a normal steel metal. Yeah, it's something that is really a fascinating technology that's coming up in the truck industry and in commercial vehicle in general as such. So I think it's going in a very futuristic way, you could say so. Yes, and just to talk about that a little bit more, how do you feel about how fast things are changing to the all-electric and the autonomous vehicles that's being developed? Do you see a time when there's driverless trucks? How soon is that going to happen? It's going to happen pretty soon because we are already, even our own company, we are all test driving, testing all the autonomous vehicles, even all, everybody in the industry, all the manufacturers are already in it, developing. And I think it's only a matter of time. I think in the next couple of years, this is something that is coming soon because in the cars, everything, because we are all living in a very fast paced life. Yeah. And um, it's a thing that we all need to be careful of very careful and have the responsibility when you manufacture such autonomous vehicles. It's interesting and exciting to be part of it. Certain things, unfortunately, I cannot mention, but uh, I think it's coming soon, to be very honest. In the next couple of years, I think we will see autonomous vehicles driving around over here and giving the drivers the comfort of that. Certainly exciting times, right? Yeah, seriously, I feel like the cartoon Jetsons is happening soon over here. It is really something to learn from. Yeah, let's change direction. What advice would you give to girls who would like to pursue a career defined perhaps as a more as a man job? See, from my perspective, this is how I think. Yeah, there is nothing as a man or woman based job. For me, if you have the openness and the willingness to learn, we can do any job. We will make mistakes, which is okay, as far as we are learning from it. So I would say to the young female, if you have the opportunity in front of you, just grab it and just don't overthink about it. Just go with the flow. This is what I would tell them. Melissa, you have had some interesting experiences and some good success so far. So what are some of your future goals? Is there something next you are planning? When I told my parents that I got the truck driving license, my father's like, Melly, next you should aim for flying the fighter jet. So I think I'm going in that direction right now. Your father's too funny. I love he challenges you. He doesn't just settle. That's brilliant. I love it. So maybe you might hear my name uh, flying a fighter jet sometime in the coming future. So let's see. We will definitely be looking out for that. No doubt. Yeah. So Melissa, thank you for your answers and your insights. They were very exciting. And now we have come to the segment of our show where we will each ask you a few rapid fire questions. Our version of a game show. Are you ready? I'm pumped and ready. Okay. So the first thing that pops in your head, what is one thing on your bucket list? Skydiving. Oh, exciting. What is your go-to comfort food? Mm, actually, I have many comfort food. It can be homemade food or some junk. It just depends upon what I need the comfort for at the moment. Is it salty or sweet? It can be any. Okay, so you don't have just like one major thing that's always there. No, it can switch. I'm a person that can be that. Okay. What is one thing you do every day, no matter how busy you are? I spend time with my nephew. How do you spend your free time? Free time. Actually, my days are jam-packed. I start my gyms in the morning, work, then come home, evening, spend time with my nephews. It's a jam-packed day. So my free time is maybe just browsing through social media like everyone else. Ah, maybe not everyone else. So thank you very much for playing along with us. I uh, appreciate that. Before we wrap up, we would like to do our Green Pool moment. So for our segment called the Green Pool moment, we'd like to ask you, what Green Pool advice would you give to your younger self? So the Green Pool advice I would give my younger self is to, I will tell her, don't sleep too much, get up, see the world, enjoy what it has to offer, experience it fully, like you're doing it today. This is what I would tell her. 
Very good advice. Don't waste time sleeping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get up and, and experience the world like you've done. And you've done a fantastic job so far. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing your fantastic and inspiring story with us today. I am so sure our audience will enjoy this as much as we have. Thank you so much for having me in the podcast and um, giving me the opportunity to share my story. Really appreciate it. Before we say goodbye, could you please tell our listener where they can find and follow you? We will put this uh, in the show notes as well, of course. I'm, I'm on Instagram at Melissa Chris Gilroy. They can even follow me in LinkedIn also with the same Melissa Chris Gilroy. Okay. Thank you again for joining us today and um, we wish you all the very best. Thank you. And I hope you all both have an amazing day. If you enjoy our conversations, please like and subscribe. See you next Wednesday.